Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nyara Alexis and what? Oh girl, I'm parched. Hmm. So I have a couple of favorites, not a bunch. Like I said, I'm never gonna force this. If I don't have favorites this month, I'll leave it somewhere in here at post, let y'all know it ain't no favorites this month because we ain't got nothing we like. I have a mask here. This is from a brand, brand Shafali, I think it's called. It's a volcanic ass and, it's not volcanic ass. It's <laughs> volcanic ash and sage facial earth mask basically this is a mask that um really detoxifies it gets into your pores it cleans it out i was introduced to this mask when i went to get a facial the place the name of the place is escaping me but i'm going now once a month to get a facial because i feel like i'm 31 and i'm like i just want to look the best i have ever looked in my life it's spicy but like a good feeling spicy next i have an eye cream this was sent to me by ren this is their brightening dark circle eye cream admittedly i had not been using an eye cream until this year and I use this every morning and at night honestly I have to say I don't know if it's actually doing that or if it's just because I'm using the product that I think that it is doing it but what I will say is I like incorporating it into my routine and it does seem to really moisturize around my eyes really well because I do get really really dry under my eyes speaking of moisturizer I have a new one this is the La Roche Posay it sounded like I said something else and I didn't. <laughs> La Roche Posay. Okay. We're not down at the pink. Which, by the way, y'all, I just started watching. Well, I just watched all of P Valley. And let me just say, the first season, it was like cringy for me to get through. But by the end, I was like, diamond. This is their double repair matte moisturizer for oily combination skin. I wanted a moisturizer that was just gonna like not leave my face looking so shiny um because i do have a very oily t-zone a oily forehead oily chin like the only place where i feel like a little dry is like on my cheeks so usually what i do is i take this i take a little bit of it and i rub it like around my nose and on my forehead and around my chin and then i use another moisturizer like in the places where i tend to feel a little dry i know it's a bit much last skincare item is this super group super goop not group um unseen sunscreen spf 40 i do not wear sunscreen how i should which i know is probably like the root of some of my skincare problems this is the only sunscreen that i've ever used that does not leave me looking ghostly i don't look like casper like this is actually clear um uh, somebody on instagram also told me that trader joe's has a dupe for this okay so next we have this laneige laneige i don't know how you say it um uh, lip glowy balm i love her if you don't like the dior lip oil and you feel like it's like a little bit too heavy for you give this a try it's a much lighter version don't judge me out here okay um i was having a hard time today i don't know why and so this is just the only way i could salvage it was throw these clips in there like i'm 12. this is um a health type of item this is the amazing grass greens blend superfood original so it's like a supplement um you can put it in a smoothie i take it every morning like just in a cup of water it does taste nasty at first but once you start doing it every day it doesn't taste like much to you it just tastes like it tastes like greens but it doesn't taste as bad um okay so we have another like beauty item this is a perfume i have told you guys about this perfume before this is the lancome Edol perfume the regular original version when i tell you if you are in the market for a new perfume that smells very fresh, clean, but also still grown, it's not very like floral, like it's not super sweet. It's just like the right hint of everything. Everybody is gonna tell you you smell good. Like literally everybody, I'm not kidding with you. So I have some jewelry. If you are like me, you have been haunted by the Balenciaga drop, or not Balenciaga, the Bottega Veneta drop earrings since like they made a splash like in January or February, right? I finally found an Amazon dupe. Like, are we kidding? Let me put one on for you. Are we kidding? Finally, hollow. What? Yes, I got them in silver and I, ooh, I got them in 
um, gold as well. I'm so excited to wear these. Oh my God. Okay, that earring's gone. So here's the one gold one that I have left. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got them in both colors and they were like $15 a pair. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram because I have already shared these earrings on Instagram and I always share stuff like this like throughout like the weeks and the days or whatever on my Instagram. I have two handbags here. First, I'm gonna start off with like a gifted item. This was actually gifted to me by the company Teddy Blake. This is their Kate Vitello 9 inch handbag this is not a sponsored video in any way they did not pay for this video they did not none of that um they sent this item over to me it was gifted i was like this is so nice i have to share first of all this is like really good nice soft smooth leather and it even oh it has that good leather smell but it's just so cute it snaps close um and i got the dark beige color um, when they reached out to me because I was like I need like a lighter neutral for like spring and summer That's not black now the next bag I have is probably gonna be like my go-to bag for the summer If you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen me talk about this bag in excess You're probably so tired of hearing me talk about this. This is a long champ Le plioche, I think it's called pouch with handle. That's literally what they call it this bag is going to be the bag of the summer i kid you not y'all need to go buy it because this is not like giving like Pil like i'm a pilates girlies vibe like she carries her stanley cup with her everywhere she goes and she has a claw clip in i've carried it so much i love her you will be surprised how much you can fit in her like she fits in the palm of my hand she looks so small but she can fit quite a bit and navy i will say it's like an understated neutral like this is a good neutral and this material right here is nylon so it's durable like you can wipe it clean you don't have to worry about getting dirty and all that stuff the next product or item that i have here is a pair of pajamas okay i have seen so many girls on tiktok on youtube on instagram on everywhere wear these pajamas but i don't see people talk about them and i'm like why is nobody spilling the tea Somebody that y'all probably watch a lot, uh, Aaliyah's face, I know I mentioned, like I get a lot of product recommendations from her. I think she has like really great taste. Um, I see her wear these a lot. And that's how I got kind of got put onto them. Cause I saw them in Target one day. I was like, I feel like I see somebody wear these all the time. And I went and watched another video just like obliviously. And I was like, oh, those are the pajamas I seen in Target. So I went and bought them. The softest pajamas you will ever have in your life, okay? This is what they look like, okay? I'll put up a picture here. Whatever, we'll do a little split screen. These are the Stars Above pajamas. Um, I get mine in a size medium. The most comfortable pajamas you will ever wear. I have so many pairs of these. Like a good day for me at Target is when I get a new set of these pajamas. So our last favorites here are home items. Um, I actually don't share a lot from this cat category. Like I share home stuff, but I don't share a lot like of these specific items. I really like tableware and stuff like that. Like I'm really into China. So the first thing I have here is this decanter. If it looks a little like wet, it's because it is. It's just sitting out drying. <laughs> um, this is a, a wine decanter. I got this from Ikea, super inexpensive. It does have a little chip in there. So just ignore that. I don't know how that happened. Um, and I wanna say it was like 12 or $15, very inexpensive, like luxury type of item. So basically what you do with your wine decanter is you take your wine and you pour it in here and it allows your wine to breathe. I like to use my things and I like to make a like a moment out of stuff always. The next thing I have is these wine glasses. And I know you're like, what's so special about them? These are Tiffany wine glasses. So this is a red wine glass and then this is a white wine glass. I was like, I wanna start accruing like my own set of like table and dinnerware and stuff. Mind you, like my grandmother was very into like China and all that type of stuff. And I, I have a storage unit full of China from my grandmother that is now mine. I just don't have space for it in my, in my apartment. They do come in a set of two. Those are my favorites for the month, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. Again, apologies on the hair. I am so sorry. Like my hair just did not turn out how it was supposed to this time. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.